Hi guys and welcome back to Scribe Gaming. I'm your man Scribe and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm sure you are, but we all know that Fridays is Galactic Challenge Day, so you and I are going to take to the holo tables and we are going to get us some rewards, isn't that right Mr. Smudge? Good talk, good talk, let's do this. Alrighty guys, so we are on Jakku and we're against the First Order. General Hux is the leadership and he's got Crew and Kylo and Fox and Fu. Now we are going to have the Scorching Sun Global modifier, which means if we let 10 stacks of that overheat land on any one of our characters, or if the enemy does it to them, they will instantly poof and die. We do have the Thermoregulate ability, which will decrease our stacks of overheat. Important to use that, especially on General Grievous, because he operates off high max health. Protocol Exterminate is nice, guys, but not massive. 30% offense does nothing for GG, which is very unfortunate, but does help us with one particular roly boy. Now, uh, whenever they score critical hits, they inflict target lock and target enemies for two turns if they didn't already have it, and Smudge is already so bored, he's leaving. Uh, whenever the droid, anime dangers, uh, droid ally enemies and... Whenever a droid ally enemies damages an enemy... My god, I cannot speak. With target lock, they gain 10% protection. Okay, not great. The enemy, on the other hand, has blind fury, and they basically are going to be stacking up critical damage, but losing critical chance. But it won't matter, because if they don't crit, they gain advantage, then they crit you and you die. Don't let them take a turn. Pro tip. Alrighty, guys. So this team that we're going to be using for this is going to be General Grievous, C-3PO. We've got Chupio. We're throwing in... Magna Guard, and we're throwing in Droidica. Now you want to mod your Grievous to have lots of max health. Bit of speed, mine's about 206, 150k health, more than 45 I want to say, and has got a crit damage triangle. See 3 po just be fast. 3 po and Chewie, have them fast and highly potent. Maggie, make them tanky and pray they don't die immediately. Droidica, you just want as little speed as possible and a lot of offense. Okay guys, let's do this. Alrighty guys, so I'm throwing in C-3PO into this team just for a couple of reasons. He's going to be able to apply some nice tasty debuffs for us and is going to pass additional turns and stuff like that. So we're looking to just immediately try and control that OG Kylo. He passes a lot of TM around um, and if at all possible, let's just keep on trying to get that stack of confusion where we can. Uh, let's go ahead and cleanse the stacks of Thermal Regulate. He's got counter-attack right now, so I don't really want to hit him. Let's go ahead and place another stack of confusion if possible. Get the blinds up. Big hit out of Droidica. Try and get rid of that, uh, that nasty boy, if at all possible, very quickly. Let's see, what have we got here? Stun Kylo if possible. Beautiful. Remove the stacks of thermal regulate on Chupio. Big hit on an OG on Hux, sorry. OG. Alright. This one should deal with him for the most part. It's also gonna stack our max health. Now we really need to get rid of that OG Kylo. He is a bit of a monster, not gonna lie to you guys. Brr. Roly boy, he's just used his stun as well, which means he cannot use it again. So they're going to be... St oh, no. Oh, that was lucky. Get rid of that stack of thermal regulate. Big hit on OG Kylo. Yep, there he goes. Now he's Gonzo's. First Order Executioner is the next target, guys. We can freely use the AoEs now. Let's just get rid of Fox. Get rid of our stacks of thermal regulate. We don't have to worry about being stunned when we've got no protection. Because um, we'll just cleanse it. Let's just do a basic here. Yes, that was leery, guys, but we did get the victory. Um, it can go better, it can but go worse. It might take you 10, 15 attempts, but it does work, trust me, guys, okay? I just had crit damage on the triangle, about 200 speed and 150,000 health. Go for it, do what you can. Um, you can also use BB-8 in that starting lineup. 
BB-8 will give you the speed advantage instead of C-3PO, um, but just mix and match, see what works out. You might actually get the light side and dark side completion as well. Okay guys, so for the final feat of the day, what we are going to do is we are going to be using Jedi. Now, we need to be getting the light side and dark side feats, but we also need to be gaining offense up 20 times. Now, for me to do that, I'm going to go ahead and use Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker lead. We're going to throw in Jedi Knight Revan, we're going to throw in Grandmaster Yoda, we're going to throw in Shakti, and to cover off the dark side of the feat, we're going to go ahead and just throw in Malak. I'm sure you'd be able to do it with any other sort of light si uh, dark side unit like Revan. Of course, if you have like a GL, that's going to be a cakewalk, but we don't do GLs in this part here. That's not how we operate. We're immediately going to mark General Hux. That basic there from Shakti, as you can see, provided all of our allies with offense up. That is five times, guys. Five offense ups for us. Isn't that amazing? Then we're going to spread the buffs, and boom! That's another five offense ups. That We're already halfway there, guys. We are already living on a prayer right now. Okay, so I'm going to hide Revan at the moment. And then we're going to see if we can get the shock over here on crew. Beautiful. That means when he gets his stun off, he ain't going to be getting any taunt. Now, first and foremost, guys, we really want to be getting rid of that General Hux. Let's go ahead and cycle some turns with GMY. Don't really care if he does any of that counter-attacking nonsense. Let's pass the turn over to Jedi Knight Luke. Jedi Knight Luke can then do the call to assist. I'm going to target Yoda. Yoda's going to do some additional damage. Let's do a big hit here. Boop. Nearly got him. Hux is gone. Fantastic. With Hux gone, we can actually start using this uh, mass assist ability. Be -be 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 -be. Shakti is attacking. She's going to be passing even more offense up, which is beautiful. And then we'll look to get rid of First Order Executioner. Let's check out Yoda here. He's got offense up. So if we spread these buffs, boom, that's another five offense ups for us, guys. We're already at 15, even not including a second lot from Shakti there. So what we can ascertain is that we are looking very pretty. Game is an absolute cakewalk. Let's see, does anybody not have offense up right now? We've got it there, so let's just slow down the game just a little bit. Obviously, there's no risk right now of actually dying whatsoever. Pass this round over here. Anybody missing offense up right now? Yoda's still got it. He's still got it. All right, all right, that's fine, that's fine. Let's just keep things going. I just want to, like, this would just be a uh, making sure thing for the for the offense up guys I am fairly certain that we're missing it here we're missing it here we're missing it here Yoda still got it Luke does not have it just yet so I want to wait for him to take his extra turn he should lose his offense up now no offense up here only Yoda has it now so if we go ahead and boop that's an extra four offense ups there B E A beautiful and then Yoda can go hibbity and he can spread it once again and we have definitely got all the offense ups in the world there. We absolutely no problem there, guys. You know, we did it light side, dark side, didn't lose a single unit. Easy peasy. Alright guys, if this video is useful to you, please do hit that like and subscribe. It really does go a long way, helping me expand my reach and find you lovely people at home. Now, if you check the links in the description down below, you will find links to Twitter, Twitch, Discord, all my lovely social media outlets. Please do come join me and follow me and all that good jazz, and I will speak to you very, very soon. Until the next video, guys. Peace out. Just giving a quick shout out to my patrons, I appreciate each and every single one of you, and without your support, I wouldn't be doing this today. Thanks so much.